All praises be to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakudash, and double honors to our apostles, a great millstone that rule with honor and with diligence. Honest to you brothers out there pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. And, uh, you know, peace and blessings be unto you and your families and those that change according to the word. Calling on the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in time of trouble. May the Lord be with you to deliver you in these evil times that we're living in. And, um, you know, the name of this lesson is, uh, um, what shall I answer when I am reproved? You know, um, a lot of times when rebuke goes out, you know, if you're, if you're in a position to, to get rebuked about something, you know, say you 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 wronged a brother, or you or you um, or you sinned. You 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 went off in the doctrine, or you you know you had a wicked thought, and that you know you've done any harm against you know the spirit of righteousness. You know, against you. How about me? I was shy. Uh, um, you're supposed to beg for forgiveness. You know, you 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 have been put in a position where you've done some damage, and not only to another counterpart, unto yourself. You know, and I'm speaking mainly about if you've done wrong to a brother in the faith. You know, um. You 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 you're really supposed to genuinely go to whoever you done the damage to, whoever you've done wrong to, and beg for their forgiveness. Um, you're not supposed to give a dry apology and think that it's it's going to be okay. Dry dry apologies don't fix pain. You know. And that's why it's called repentance. It doesn't matter how long a situation happened ago. You're supposed to go back and be sorry. Make back sorry. You know? You have to go back to the, the revisit the time that you, you've done the offense and be sorry for it. You know, you people... You know when people when when you're done wrong you don't want you don't want a dry ass apology that that makes it worse. You know somebody sleep with your wife, and you find out about it and they be like yo yo my bad son. Are you gonna are you gonna be like no it's cool? Are you gonna be like man yo bad? You know it's gonna piss you off even worse. You know, and confession. Confession is the is one of the biggest parts of re repentance. You know, if you can't con if you can't confess to the things that you did, how can how can how can you uh, um, be for forgiven for those things? You know. The opposite of confession is pride. Pride keeps you from confession, you know? A, big, a reason why men don't confess their faults is because of pride. Oh, I don't want to look bad or, you know, that's old stuff. It should be behind us, We should, you know? You know, and if you you committed the the offense, and the brother calls you out for it, and the brother says, "Yeah, you did this and that and that," and I was hurt about that, then you're supposed to go to that brother in sorrow, and and beg for his forgiveness, man. You know, you're not supposed to give a dry ass apology. That don't fix them no matter. Oh, that happened a long time ago. But you don't know how long that brother suffered 
for the offense that you committed. And he may be have suffered until this very day. You know? And 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 then when things come back out, come back around and you, and you, you get called out for them, and that opens up a new wound on that brother because he goes back and he revisits the, the time, the, the harm that you've done, the damage that you've done. And, you know, you know, we don't want to offend these little ones. We don't want to offend one another as brethren, man. You know, and if you, and if you, if you, if you offend a brother and you get called out about it, and you make it right, man. And I'm not, I'm not talking about a dry fucking apology, you know. You make it right. You go to whoever you offended and say, yo, brother, hey, I did that to you, man. That was wrong, bro. And I'm sorry for what I did, you know. Because you know you you give a dry apology, you know that brother. I don't I don't want to be around that dude, you know. You give a, you give a, give a dry apology, and the brother not gonna, you know, brother don't gotta accept that. There's no sorrow in what you did, the damage you did, you caused, you know, and then you you know you you don't confess to it, you don't say yeah hey I did these things. And I was wrong. You don't confess to, you know, uh, 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 switching the doctrine and 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 mis mistreating, uh, uh, using using your using your um, your um, authority and its truth as a cloak of maliciousness to 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 lash out the pain that you were going through on others. You have to confess that, man, and you have to you have to go to the the people that you hurt, and, and ask for forgiveness, man. And not no not a hey, a hey, I said Salaki, so you know I'm cool with that. That ain't healing shit, man. You know. You know, eventually, if you offend, if you offend a lot of brothers, eventually the Lord will remove His spirit from you, man. You know, eventually the Lord will 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 recompense you, man. You know, and there won't be there won't be no 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 remorse for you. When when the Lord when the Lord starts to to visit you for the things that you've done, there won't be any remorse. There won't be any acceptance of those things because you 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 didn't come you didn't come with a a a a, a right spirit, man. You didn't come, you know, in the fear of the Lord. You came in the spirit of oh, let's just hurry up and toss this in the back, you know. And the brother is hurting, you know. You know, so, you know, confession is major, is a major key. That's, that's a, that's a, 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 a denunciation of pride is confession. You can't, like, if you're confessing your faults, you know, there's no room for pride. If you're saying, you know what, yeah, I did this and I did that, and, you know, I switched up the doctrine you know, and I and I taught this wrong, and I did that. That will that will give that will give a, a person confidence confidence to believe that you're sincere. Well, you got know, a lot of people, you know, just giving dry salakis and no confession of what they did. No confession, just you know, I said salakia, you know. That's not enough. You know, we got this guy. Uh, you know, y'all will call, man. I, you know, I don't got no personal against the the brother, but looking on, seeing how, you know, you handled that apology. It, it was I couldn't feel anything, and you know, he, you know, he never did nothing personal to me. 
but still the 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 from the the from the the um testimonials that I heard man it was you know it it hurt my spirit man and I could imagine what what those brothers felt they had to endure the things that was that was that was said you know but you know Jake you know want to give a dry apology and just hurry up and put this in the back burning and, and you know Jake was tweaking man you know so you know hey man sometimes you got to you got to confess yeah and you might have to go down the line of the you know things that you did. Yeah, I did this. I taught that wrong because you know Jake ain't gonna accept no apology, you know, you know, and 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 then put himself in a situation that could turn back right back into the same situation that he he had he had was freed from unless he unless he can unless he can feel the sincerity in your words. You know, I wouldn't go to the Lord if I sinned. I wouldn't go to the Lord and be like, hey, 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 Pop Salaki, you know. <laughs> My bad, Pops. <laughs> and I've committed a sin, man. And Lord, you know, I, I know the Lord, you know, upset. You know, but well, I'm going to go in all humility and, you know, and I'm going to confess, you know, Lord, I did this. This was wrong, you know, and, and that's easy. You know, I'm not saying, you know, you know, low crawl to the brother's house and, and, and knock at the bottom of his door while you prostrating, you know, but a, a sincere apology can be felt, man. You can see, you can feel it when someone's sincere. You know, the Lord blessed us with, with, with senses. You can feel it. You know, when someone is really sincere, you can feel it. You know, other than that, you know, why should, why should anybody accept that shit? And Jake is so fucking prideful, man. It's ridiculous. Well, I'm gonna get into scriptures, man. This is um, Habakkuk two and one. I will stand up on my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he, what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. You know. That's where I got the title to this 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 video from. What what I should answer when I'm reproved. And um, there's something to consider, man. You, what you should answer. You know what will you reply when 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 you're reproved, man? When the spirit reproves you, will you will you confess your faults? Will you will you will you uh, uh, um, because when you when you're at fault. It's on you to prove to the other person that you've changed. When you've done uh, considerable amounts of damage to that person. It's, it's on you to, 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 to make that person believe that you are sincere in your apology. Before the healing process can begin. And a person will know if you confess what you did. You know, if you if you if you confess what you did, yeah, I did this and that was wrong, brother. I shouldn't have did you like that. You know, you know, it don't take a whole lot to be sincere. Well, people, you know, have all this fucking pride, man, because they don't want to because they worried about how the the world will view them if this information comes out. And instead of being sincere, sincerely sorry about what they did, you know, they just they just throw dry apologies out and expect everybody to say, oh, yes, I'll take this molded fucking apology. You 
it's just, it's the, the, no, it's 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 not it's not heartfelt. It's it's not the spirit wasn't in it. You know, and then people, yeah, you know, these you, you you give these people leeway, and that spirit is still on them. You know, that spirit is still on them, and then they do more damage, and then you then you feel like an, you feel like even a bigger idiot for for allowing that person to do more damage to you. You know, when you, when you, you understand, you, I knew you, you think you, you know, you get on yourself. I knew that that was a bullshit apology and this dude wasn't right and then nothing changed, you know, scriptures speak about mark them that cause, uh, 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 divisions, you know, and offenses according to the doctrine and, and avoid them, man. You know, we got to avoid them, man, you know, and yeah, you know, not, not on all the things that, that you've done, you walking around here with a clear conscience after you done caused so much damage to people. And then, uh, you know, and then now when, the, when, the, when, when what you've done come out, you know, it, uh, well, you know, y'all supposed to have been accepted my dry apology. You know, that I gave y'all. You know, what's wrong with y'all? Oh, man. You know, we didn't feel that. I felt it when I heard the brothers talking about what had happened and, and, and what you've done to them. I felt that. But I didn't feel the response. It was, it was Like the brothers, Ariella said, it was, it was not sincere. It was gall for water. You know, I put these scriptures together, you know, just... You know... You know, the Spirit got to moving on me to put these scriptures together. This is Isaiah 46 and 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Let's look up the word men. The word men, it says to be, to be a man, that is, act in a manly way. You know, they got this thing where two people get in a dispute and they say, well, you know, and one person says, you know what, I'm going to be the bigger man, even though I don't agree with the outcome, I'm going to be the bigger man and go and apologize for even, even, even disputing, even arguing, or, you know, or, or, or jumping out of, going out of character. No, that's, that's being a man, you know. You know, you, you you go and you you apologize, you apologize, or you or you say, you know what, you know, I'm gonna be the bigger man and and you know, and confess that, yeah, I was, I was, you know, because pride is a motherfucker. Pride keeps you from uh, uh, apologizing, man, from from confessing what you did, man, and that's why the Lord hates pride because there's no healing with pride, man. There's no healing, you know? So that's why the Lord hates that shit, man. You know? And we can't just accept anything. We live in a world where we can't just accept anything and put ourselves in situations where more damage can be done. Especially if you see a man is has got snake like tendencies, you know.
This is Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 32 and 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but find an excuse according to his will. Yeah, a sinful man is, is not going is, is, is not going to humble itself. A man that is accustomed to doing wrong and 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 you know and, and, and walking away from the matter, you know, it's hard for him to make a conscious decision to change and and, and start to call call it's hard for a man like that to call himself out. To accept that he's the 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 one in transgression, you know. Verse eighteen: A man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. A proud man is not going to fear. A hey, maybe these things are did to these men. Who are the men of the Lord? Maybe, the, maybe the Lord is upset with me about this. Maybe I need to fix this. Maybe I need to go to those men and fix this situation. But you know, but now it's like you know, you know, men, men, you, you've done a lot, a lot of damage to people, and then you toss out a dry apology, and then you know. You know, it's going to be even harder. It, it'll be even harder, man. The spirit probably just ain't dealing. But it'll be even harder to go back and say, you know what? You know, because now all these videos out now, hey, before, before all this, this this information came out, it, it it didn't sit in you to say, you know what? I did. I did wrong. If you if you had any right, if if a man has any righteousness in him, he'll consider you know, like, you know what, that was, that shit I did was fucked up. I mistreated brothers. I used my, I used my, 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 uh, my liberty as a cloak of evil, maliciousness. And I did wrong to brothers. I caused harm, injury. You know? Any man that 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 that, that has the, the right spirit on him knows, like when you go off, that shit may never, man, that shit may hurt you until the Lord comes back. If you mistreated a brother, and even if that brother accepts your apology and you move forward, it still sits on you heavy. You know? <laughs> you know, sometimes you apologize over and over, and a brother get tired of hearing the apology. Brother, man, we've been, you know, <laughs> but that just shows that you, the brother is sincere. You know, and uh, and other brothers have, you know, you know, it's, you know, one, I'm thinking of one particular brother in Chicago. He used to apologize all the time about the same thing, like years later. Like, I've been knowing this brother for years, you know, and I love the hell out of this brother, man. Like, he's 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 a very close friend to me, you know, but he always <laughs> thinks about, you know, one particular incident, you know, you know, and he'd be like, man, Salaki, brother, man, for that one time when such and such... <laughs> I'd be like, bro, come on, man. You know? But, you know, brothers, brothers are sincere, man. I understand, you know, where he's coming from because, you know, I feel the same way about certain instances. Man, pride is a motherfucker, man. Pride is going to get a lot of men taken out. Said so a man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear, even when he himself had done without counsel. You know, these men are fear don't have the fear of the Lord on them, you know. Especially when it comes to dealing with the men of the Lord. These men, these are some beautiful brothers. A lot of these brothers that, you know, came out with testimonies or yeah, I've met them. They're, they're beautiful brothers in the faith, man. Close friends. 
And I don't even know a lot of the things that happen, but the spirit, man, sometimes the spirit will call you up, man. The Lord will take so much of your bullshit, and then he'll, he'll put the spirit on brothers to start calling you out, and then you're like, oh, shit. That's a dangerous place to be in, man. Having offended men and then come out, you, you can't even, you, you see, you're so fucking prideful that you can't even lower yourself and say, you know what, this, all, all the shit I did was wrong, you know? And I'm fucked up, man. This is, you know, I was going off, you know, and I said whatever meant, you know, you know, I would hope their brothers would forgive me, but, you know, but, but yo, Jake, don't listen. But now it's to the point where, you know, it's just like, man, like, you know, Jake will make a situation worse in their pride, man. And that's to the point where, you know, I mean, I don't even want to hear shit no more. I don't want to hear no apology no more. Shit. Because it'll sound even more disingenuous. Now it gets it's certain after a while it gets to a point where you just pray to the Lord and you keep doing the work and hope that the Lord have mercy on you, man. Because you know, when 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 a man is given a, a chance to fix a thing, you know, if a man is sincere, you'll you'll know it. It's given a chance to fix things, you get get called out about this and that, and what what about this, brother? What about that? What about when you switch this doctrine? What about when you said, you know, this man was King David and that man was King David? And you know, what what you know? What about you? What, what about when you called the elders up in New York some niggas and you know and did did all these things, man? What about you know? When people get to calling you out and then then you know. Then it's, instead of instead of you know confessing and saying yeah I did these things you know and you know I feel bad for that you know you know it's you know uh, well we spoke about that years ago and blah 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 and it's like man it's like you know it makes it worse we get to the point where you know the Lord gets tired eventually you the a hey, eventually the Lord's mercy runs out. Eventually, the Lord gets gets tired, and then and the Lord will issue a judgment. You know, and we have to even us that's in the faith, man. We have to consider if 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 you know if a brother comes to you and he's been offended by something you did, you have to consider. Hey, this man may very well be a man of the Lord, and let me make sure that you know I make this situation right. We have to consider that, man. You know. And we have to be, you know, we have to be, you know, uh, 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 sincere, man. This is Proverbs 28 and 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whosoever confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. You know, well, confession is a big part of, you know, forgiveness. You know, confession. Yeah, I did this and I did that. I did these things, you know. And uh, when if, if if a man confesses, that immediately in most cases lets you know he's sincere. You know, healing begins with confessing what we've done wrong. You know, and and that's very important, man, to get past matters. You know. That's very important, man. You know, it, this is um, verse, verse 14. Happy is a man that feareth always, but he that hardeneth, hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. You know, so, hey, man, we got to fear. We got to fear 
any offenses that we may commit one to another, man. We got to fear that the Lord might judge us for that. We have to consider when we're being, when we're being, hey, what shall I say when I'm reproved? We have to consider and make things right. You know, don't let pride come and set in like you some big shit. You know, And you don't have to make, you don't have to, you know, beg for forgiveness from your neighbor, man. If you've done the harm, you know, if you, you know, and I'm not talking to, the, you know, this guy. I'm just talking to brothers in general. If you've done the, if you've done the wrong, if what the brother is saying, you did it. And he's expressing that, hey, brother, that kind of hurt my feelings. Then you're supposed to make it right with that brother, man. So y'all can move forward. You know, you're supposed to make it right. And, and it's a blessing to be given a chance to make things right, man. It's a, that's a that's a that's the Lord throwing out a lifeline. It's a blessing to be given a chance to make things right. You know, because chances run out. The Lord, Lord said, "My spirit shall not always strive with men." This is Job 30. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Job 33 and 27, he says, he, look, he looketh upon men, talking about Yahweh Bashim El Shai. And if any say I have sinned and perverted that which was right and it profited me not, he will deliver his soul from going into the pit and his life shall see the light. You know, so confession is a huge part of, you know, repentance, confession. You know, acceptance of, you know, the, the wrong that you've done, you know. It says, you know, I'm going to read the first part again. It says, if any say I have sinned and perverted that which was right and it profited me not, he will deliver his soul from going into the pit and his life shall see the light, you know. So the Lord, you know, Lord is open to repentance if it's sincere. The Lord ain't going to take no bullshit apology. He knows, he knows the intents of the heart, man. You know, the Lord knows, man. Empty words, man. The Lord knows that shit, man. And he'll turn, the Lord will turn his back on empty words. So are we supposed to accept empty words? No, man. This is James 5 and 16. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. And confess your faults. Remember I said confession. Confession brings about healing. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. You know? You know? So even if you do confess your faults, one another, you're supposed to pray for that brother, man, you know, that he that he be healed, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. And it's all about being sincere in this truth. It's all about being honest and sincere. You know, it's all about being genuine. That's what it's about, man, you know. Lord, if, if the Lord ain't taking no dry, weak apologies, then why should, why should anybody else? You know, like, no, oh, not feeling it. You know, so, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying in general, and that's all, that's across the board. I ain't just dealing with the situation that's going on right now. That situation will deal with itself. But in general, brothers, you know, if a brother come to you and say, bro, that offended me, it don't matter what what rank he is, what how many scriptures he know. That that sh that don't matter. What matters is, brothers, make it right. That's a serious. That's a serious thing. If a brother comes to you and says, "Man, you, you offended me, bro," that's serious, man. If any offend these little ones. You know that we can't just let that go out the window because you know that you know we we're not taking brothers seriously. You know, like that that immediately when you hear those words, a situation be, should turn serious. You know, because the Lord, man, the Lord knows the hearts of men. Like, and you know, the Lord knows if a brother, you know, if a brother is offended. By something you did, and if that brother come and tell you he's he's fulfilled the law of going to his neighbor, you know, and telling them, you know. So if the law is fulfilled, that the other person that's on the receiving end is subject to judgment if they don't make it right. So hey. All praises be to Yahweh by Shimei, Shai by Shimei, Karkodash, the bonds to our apostles, a great millstone. Honesty, brothers out there pushing this word. Shalom.